First at 10, we're working the latest developments on tonight's big story. The Paw Sox have been sold. We've been tracking this story for weeks, and today the new owners made it official. And they're looking to move the Paw Sox, uh, the Red Sox AAA affiliate, out of the city. That's been their home now for decades. And new tonight, Pawtucket Mayor Donald Grebian is vowing to fight to keep the Paw in Paw Sox by convincing the owners that the new team should stay at McCoy Stadium. But as we've been reporting all day, we've learned the new owners are looking to move the team to Providence and build a stadium, perhaps on the old 195 land. We've also learned they will likely ask the Capital City and the General Assembly for help. We begin our team coverage tonight with Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan. She's live in Pawtucket with new reaction. Well, now that the Paw Sox have been sold, the future of McCoy Stadium is now up in the air. Now, the new ownership group says that it wants to build a state of the art urban ballpark, likely in downtown Providence. And one of the new owners, also Providence attorney and Rhode Island resident, uh, Jeff, James uh, Skeffington, says that this investment is a game changer for the capital city and the entire state. The oldest stadium in AAA International League may soon see its final out. You know, we have great nostalgia for, for Pawtucket, but uh, in all honesty, um, times have changed, ballparks have changed, designs have changed. Providence attorney James Skeffington addressed the media Monday afternoon, announcing the new ownership of the Pawtucket Red Sox. The new ownership also means a potential new location for the ball club. Just a few miles south on Route 95, possibly the former 195 land in downtown Providence. Anytime you have something lighting up the city, bringing that much excitement, lifting the morale of the citizens, uh, bringing people in that are going to visit other venues within the city, uh, restaurants and so forth, I, I think it's great for the city. It's a location, Skeffington says, fans could use public transportation to get to and be visible from the highway. Visual ballpark down there and the right field wall is on the riverbed, so any home runs go in the Providence River. Although we could have a, a Barry Bonds effect with, you know, guys out in kayaks looking for baseballs or something. But some Paw Sox fans aren't yet sold on a new location and would like to see the work that late owner Ben Mondor did continue to live on. You know, he put an awful lot of work and effort into this thing and, you know, you'd hate to see it just go be thrown away, you know, quick like that with a couple of signatures on a piece of paper. I think they'll make more money in Providence and, I mean, nowadays it's all about making money. I mean, you can't fault people for that, but, you know, it's still sad when you grow up in Pawtucket. Now, new this evening, Pawtucket Mayor Don Grebian sent out this letter to city council members, remaining hopeful, saying, quote, we remain hopeful that after everything is laid out, the new owners will rethink their current position and keep the paw in paw socks. Now, again, it is important to note that the new ownership has not decided on a particular site yet, and they also have not drawn out any designs. Reporting live in Pawtucket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.